Hello, it's been a while. So what have I been up to? Uh, well, I know last month I forgot to do a TBR on a wrap for July. Just know I acted really well in July. And I'm going to tell you what I did here in August what I plan and what I plan to do in September. So here's my August wrap up and my September TBR. All right. So as far as August goes, I actually did really, really well, way more than I expected to. Um, I finished Leia, Princess Valderon by Claudia Gray, which was a book that I had planned on finishing in July. Ended up having to go over into August. I finished it. Really good book. Uh, it, it was definitely different from the rest of her Claudia Gray's books in the series. Still really enjoyed it. Still thought it was a really, really awesome book. Um... <sighs> Probably in my mid in my mid level Star Wars books if we're talking like ratings and stuff, but yeah, um, I also finished a bunch of short stories last month. I, I was supposed to say this in my August TBR, but uh, in August uh, I read a lot of short stories, um, to say the least. Uh, that was my main goal was to read some short stories, and I did so. Um, the first one I read, which I'd wanted to read for a while, was The Nightmare of Zeal Delane by Shanti Hershensky. Um, this book I thought was really good. I had a really good story. Um, I gave it three stars, I think, of Goodreads for a variety of reasons. But I think the fact that it has a ton of potential is is really cool. Uh, it was actually written by a 13-year-old, um, which, again, I thought was really cool. But it was very prevalent throughout the throughout the story. Um, I think it's maybe somewhere around 70 pages. Um, but you could tell it was written by a 13-year-old. Um, there are a lot of weird sentence structuring things here and there. Um, but overall, I thought the story was really cool, and I liked the whole concept. Um, and, it, and, it, and at times, it did feel kind of creepy, which is which I, I thought was awesome. I read most of the book at night, uh, which also helped the, the creep factor. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed the story. Um, and there's a lot of potential there with uh, Shanti Hershens. Um, but I'm very excited to see what she's coming out with next. I think she's got a series coming out. And then there's also a second book called The Curse of Zeal Delane. Um, and I'm probably going to pick that up at some point as well. Um, then the next one I read was uh, You Have Arrived at Your Destination uh, by Amor Tolis, uh, which is part of the, the, the forward series, uh, short stories on Amazon Prime. I really liked this. Um, it was definitely an interesting look at human genetics and the future of it. And I think with the Ford series has done a pretty good job at, you know, looking into the future, the way science is going to turn itself out on this planet one way or another um, without going too much into scientific detail. Because one of the pet peeves of mine when reading is trying to see someone who doesn't really know what they're talking about, try to talk about technology. Uh, it bugs me a lot. Um, because, you know, I have an engineering degree and I'd like to think I'm pretty well versed in you know, physics and technology and engineering. So, like, whenever I read a book that has technology trying to be explained and them not doing a very good job of it from a physical, from a physics standpoint, it just kind of annoys me. But none of these books have done that so far. Um, and I don't know genetics, obviously. I mean, I'm not a geneticist, I'm an engineer. Um, so I don't know how accurate everything in this was, but it was a very interesting look at what genetics could possibly be. Um, it probably not even that too far a future. Now, some of it's a bit far-fetched, um, where you can, you know, map out your child pretty much to a T for, like, 40 years. Um, or, you know, I'm trying to, trying to talk without giving too many spoilers, so, I mean, if there's a spoiler in there, I'm sorry. But, um, I thought it was really good. Um, and if you have not read the Forward series and the future interests you, I definitely think that you should t uh, pick up the series and, um, you know, see if any, any of the books really pop out at you. This is probably one of my, uh, it's probably the, I've read four of these, I think. Um, it's not my, it's not my favorite, it's not my least favorite, but they've all been pretty good so far. Um, so yeah. And then the next book I read was a book that I've wanted to read for a very, very long time. And by that, I mean when I bought it back in the summer. And it was Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption, um, which is by Stephen King. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this book. I thought, and then I think, I, and then I watched part of the movie after I read it. And, you know, the movie actually does a pretty good job of adapting the book. 
Um, it's not word for word, and they add some dialogue and some context to different scenes where necessary. Um, but I thought an interesting thing that we got was um, Red's backstory in the book, uh, whereas you don't really get that in the movie. Uh, there are some d disturbing scenes in it, so you really have to kind of like brace yourself for it. Um, I mean, it does take place in a jail or a prison or whatever, or a, or a prison or so you know. There's some disturbing scenes in it, but uh, I I thought it was a really really good read. Um, it was my first Stephen King book, and um, I might try to read more of his not have more of his non horrors stuff. You know. Um, that book he just came out with, I don't remember what it's called, but it looks really interesting. Um, especially after reading this book and kind of getting, becoming familiar with his writing style. Um, and if you love the movie, I definitely, I highly check out, uh, I highly recommend checking out this book. Um, it's very, very good. And finally, I read The Attack on Titans, No Regrets, number two. Uh, there's only two in the series. Uh, it's, uh, basically, um, Levi's origin story, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good book, or a really good, uh place to kind of wrap up the, the little short series. Um, not much to say about it. I just thought it was really good, and I and I liked how how, how they kind of gave Levi some character development from where he was at the beginning of the first uh, volume to the end of the second one. So it was, I think it was really good. As for audiobooks, I absolutely demolished some audiobooks <laughs> last, uh, last month. Um... Starting with uh, Claudia Gray's uh, Constellation series, um, I actually read the first book in J July, uh, Defy the F Stars, and then I read Defy the Worlds and Defy the Fates um, last month uh, in, in audiobook form. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite uh, YA series. It's a really, really good series. Um, Claudia Gray does a spectacular job at writing her characters. Um, and each book dealt with a bunch of different scenarios that, I don't know how to explain it, but the, the scenarios that she did include really developed the characters really well. Uh, I think my favorite in the series was Defy the Worlds, um, a really awesome book. Um, Defy the Fates is really good too. Uh, I wasn't exactly satisfied with the ending, and I think there was a bunch of different points that she could have ended it but she may have dragged it on a little bit too much. Uh, either way, it's a really, really awesome series, and I would love to see it adapted into maybe like a cartoon, like an adult cartoon or, uh, you know, a short-form uh, live-action show. Uh, I definitely think it lends itself to a cartoon, though, um, and I really enjoyed all the characters. I really liked Abel. I really liked Noemi Vidal. I loved that character. She was awesome. Uh, it was just a really great book over, great series overall. I mean, I highly recommend it. Probably, like I said, probably one of my favorite YA f uh, science fiction fantasy no novel series. Um, and then I read books two through five in the in uh, Tanya Kappas's, uh Campers and Criminals Cozy Mystery series. Um, back in July. I was kind. Of, I was kind of out of it with all the um, these big epic space operas and fantasy novels that I was reading. It was like I really just need something that's down to earth, you know. Um, and nothing works better than a murder in a small town called Norwell, Kentucky. Um, and so I read books two through five. Uh, I bought book two and uh, five, uh, three through five were in, at my library. Uh, as long as, as well as number one, um, look, these books might be predictable, but they were exactly what I needed, and I love every single second of it. I actually really love the way she wrote her characters, and I think that this series, I think there's 19 books, really would translate itself well to a TV series, um, just because of the way that Tanya Kappas wrote her characters, and the way, and how they're all just so distinct, and the way, and I, I don't know, just, I love the books. I love the way they were written. I love all the characters. I love the setting, um, and there and you know there are a couple good twists in the book as well. Um, you know, if you're an avid reader of mysteries, you probably wouldn't be thrown off by it. But this is exactly what I needed, and so I went right with it. Um, I'm hoping to f to keep reading the series uh, through my through uh, whatever I can get my hands on. Um, but I thought that actually a lot of people had complaints with the with the audiobook narrator. I thought she was great. I thought she did all the voices really well. 
But um, yeah, I actually might come back one day and kind of make a video based on this book series, casting my, doing a perfect casting or my perfect casting for this book if it were to come become a TV series because I think they'd be awesome. Um, and I just love these books. They're so good. And I would highly recommend them to someone if you just want, you know, a nice, easy fall read. Um, and a lot of them take place, you know, at different parts of the year. So you can really get in the mood with a lot of them. I think I'm definitely going to go back and read the uh, Chris, what's it, Christmas Criminals and Campers uh, at Christmas time. 100%. It was, it was a great book. And uh, so far, I think my favorite's probably... Probably Forest Fishing and Forger. I really like that one. And there are a lot of twists in there that I didn't expect. So, uh, yeah, it, it was good. Desert Striving and Derelict. It was a little bit weirder because I didn't really understand the ending. Like, I didn't really... I, was, I wasn't going to pay attention because I was working. But the ending was a little weird to me. But, uh, I don't know. I really enjoy these books. And uh, I might get physical copies at some point in time. But, yeah. Anyway, so... And f uh, so, finally... Uh, actually, yesterday... Uh, the 30th and the 31st of August... Uh, I started and finished the book of Tr the book of three by Lloyd Alexander. Uh, you'll find out why later on this week when I post um, uh, episode three of uh, Real Shit. Which, by the way, if you've not watched that series yet, it's a brand new series with me and my friend RJ. Uh, we like we pretty much talk about movies, um, and so this week we're talking about the Black Cauldron, and uh, which is based on the Black Cauldron, the book, um, which is the second book in the. Oh, God, I don't remember what the series is called. The Chronicles of something. Um, but anyway, so this is the first book in the series, Book of Three. Uh, I finished that uh, literally two days ago. It took me two days to get through. And then today, I actually finished The Black Cauldron, which was on my TBR for next month. But we'll, we'll get there in a second. I'm trying to get through this fast, but I'm still uh, 12 minutes in. And here's me trying to go fast. I Anyway. Um, in terms of comic books... Um, I read, I caught up on the High Republic and High Republic Adventures, and I started, and I got into the Monster Temple's Peak, um, comic, or short event comic that they're doing in the High Republic as well. I'm very excited for that. Um, I, it's been good so far. Um, and then finally, my September TBR. I wanted to do something interesting this month. I wanted to read really long books, and I don't read very fast. So, I mean, it is what it is. But, because it, this is on last month's TBR, I didn't get to finish it. Uh, Star Wars High Republic, Out of the Shadows by Justina Ireland. is the first book I'll be finishing this month. Um, and then, the only two books on my TBR that are... There are only two other books on my TBR. Well, I guess there's three, but one of the manga. So, I mean, I'll just read that. I can read that in a day. Uh, but it's Black Leopard, Red Wolf by Marlon James, and then Dune by Frank Herbert. Um, I wanted to get, I wanted to read Dune before the movie came out. Uh, I think it comes out in October. And um, I've had Black Leopard, Red Wolf on my shelf for a little bit, and I just really, really wanted to read it. And they're both pretty long books. They're both over the copies I have are both over six hundred pages long. Uh, so I figured, you know what, just dedicate this month to those two books. Um, and then I also have uh, Star Wars: High Republic Edge Balance by. Sh Shima Shinya and uh, Justina Ireland, um, but that comes out this month, and I'm gonna read that probably as soon as I can. As soon as I can, but yeah. And then finally, uh, no, not finally. Audiobooks wise, uh, my TBR for the month is I'm gonna do Black Cauldron, which I just finished today. Um, uh, Star Wars High Republic Tempest Runner, which I started yesterday, which came out yesterday, uh, but I will finish it this month. I'll probably finish it tomorrow with the rate at which I'm reading that. Um, that's an audio drama. It's really, really good. Um, I call it an audiobook because, one, it's an audible, and two, because I mean, eventually we're going to get a script version and it's going to be a book. So, And then finally, um, as of right now, this is the last one on my TBR. This happened last month as well. Is Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. Um, I've seen this one bunch, a bunch of bookstores. Emily Fox just finished reading it, and I was like, fine, fine I'll give in to the hype. Um, it's an older fantasy book, uh, um, and I saw it online on at my library. So I figured, you know what, let's give, let's give it a try. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, it's, it's a really long book, so that's the only reason there's so few on there. Um, and then in terms of comics, I'm going to keep reading uh, High Republic, High Republic Adventures. I'm going to catch up, on, I'm going to catch back up on Daredevil and Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's my August wrap-up, my September TBR. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, don't forget to watch Real Shit. Don't forget to watch Chip Roasting as well. And I will see you guys eventually. Maybe later on this month. But not soon. I don't know. Uh, peace out.